This is Nathan Freitas with The Guardian Project and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of ObscuraCam V2 which has video support. So you might already know ObscuraCam, this is running on a tablet where um, we have photo support today, you can choose a picture, there's my face, and it'll automatically detect faces and you can obscure faces and tag them and do other things. Um, but now we have video support which is really exciting because our partner is Witness who does human rights um, video advocacy work. So I'm going to show you a loading a video up that I've recorded and what you see is the camera sort of scrubbing through, the, the software scrubbing through my face um, in the video and detecting all the regions in which I'm detected and then creating a um, face trail essentially through the video that it can later use for processing. Um, and this is happening in um, not quite in real time, obviously, it's, it's going back and forth through the video, but it takes about, you know, four seconds per every second of video at this point to do the face detection. Um, you can do it in real time as well, but then the, the quality and accuracy is lower, so it just depends on um, how much motion there is in your video. So it's almost done, and then I'll play back the um, video. So now it's done, and now I can hit, hit play. We can watch it uh, in real time, um, showing the regions of which it will be obscuring later when we do that. Okay. Um, I can also scrub through the video, so we can you can find it at any point, see where it is, and you can also manually um, create a video. But so you just hit save. It's pretty simple. It saves uh, uses FFmpeg video processing in order to do this. And I will actually just load up and show you uh, an example output since we already have it. Okay, here we go. So this is the result of that process, which takes about two or three times. So again, a minute video would take about three minutes, which is, is not bad at all. I'll show you another one, um, a second video. Here, okay. So this has two faces. You'll see that it's able to detect uh, more than one face. It can do up to a hundred faces potentially if the resolution is good enough and there's that many people in your video. But you'll see this as the motion goes, it, it gets the, the, the paths that the face move through the video over time. So there it's got me on the left, Harlow Holmes, one of our other developers and researchers here. And um, now it's you know getting us in different expressions, and you can move forward and back uh, in the in the video. It tracks that. There's some times where it doesn't quite work if your face is sideways or if you move too quickly. So you'll see right here the sideways as we turn our heads, it doesn't quite get it. Um, but um, otherwise, it's working pretty well. You know we're able to to tune this um, in different ways around video. One thing, so I'll show you, um, other than this process where it's automatically doing it, you can also hit play and create a, a region manually. Um, actually, let me clear these. So I'm going to clear all the regions. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to add a manual tracking. So now I'm manually tracking with my finger and I'm able to do that in real time. Oops. And so that's our solution. So we'll have a mixture of automated and manual tracking so you can sort of you know, clean up any automated um, tracking that needs to be done. And so now um, I'll let go and that'll stop and then we can scrub back. And you'll see that there and then I can do another for me. So now it's actually gonna, going to play both. So I do a second one here. You can let go and then start again. Oops. Yeah. So we've got uh, manual and automated tracking, and I'll show you the results of this video in the gallery. Um, this is running on a honeycomb uh, tablet, but we test actively on gingerbread down to you know even a, a you know one gigahertz sort of Nexus One model with gingerbread is is our baseline for this. Um, so you can see two faces working, and again this video didn't take that long to process, just a few minutes. Once the video is processed, it can be easily uploaded to um, YouTube or somewhere like that. So that is the state of ObscuraCam V2, which now has video support. We're very excited, and we're going to be launching this uh, as a public um, 
alpha version shortly.